Hey guys, it's Tarko Cycle here again. Now we're on part two of getting ready to work with this RXSR. Uh, it's an ACCST RXSR and getting it with the X9 uh, light. Okay, and now we're going to load some firmware changes on it. We're going to see what happens. So what we did know about, and accidentally, while I was sitting here, I um, I removed the soldering. I'm sorry. One second. I'm all over the place here. So I need to re-solder the board. For some reason, I guess just out of habit, I took the soldering off. And uh, all right, disconnect the wire. So I need to go ahead and put that back on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just go ahead and put my old man goggles on here real quickly. And we're going to go very quick with this because I'm realizing that this can take a long, a long time for no reason at all. So let me just go ahead and get this connected. There's one. Let's get the ground back on. There's two. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the S bus back on. And that's going to go right here. Okay. <coughs> all right. Yeah, with that done, that's how we left it in the last video when we ended. So, <coughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take the radio. And um, what I've done is I've downloaded the um, firmware, okay? So, the firmware from their FreeSky website, I've downloaded and put on my SD card. Now, I'm not going to go through all the instructions on how I did that uh, because I've got videos on how to do that. But what I did was I brought, if you look at the radio right now, I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to hit page. I'm going to go to the firmware option. And under the RX, I've added both the RXSR version 2.1.0, and then I've added the Access RXSR version 2.1. So if I go to this category, you can see where the F port is and all this option here. Uh, but when I go to the Access version, uh, let me hit, um, hold on a second, I want to check something real quick to see what mode I'm in here. So I am in Access right now. Okay. So uh, when I go to the Access version, if I want to do that, then I've got the uh, menu. Um, page and then firmware uh, RX firmware and then we've got the this is the AC this is the ACCST version so this is the access version the ACCST now the access version one of the things that I noticed is obviously we have an option for F port on there when we select it and I have been having an issue with F port working so the first thing we're going to do right now is we are going to go ahead and we are going to upgrade the uh, receiver okay to the ACCST version 2.1.0 okay because I want to see if we can get the F port to work properly so let's go ahead and do that real quick all right, so I'm going to plug this in right here, and I'm going to scroll down to the ACCST. All right, I'm going to click. Whoops, I'm going to click it quickly, and then I'm going to go down. Here's the FCC version, and I'm going to go to the F port. So here's the F port version. So I'm going to hold that. I'm going to say flash S port. So we're going to flash the FCC F port version onto our control receiver. You can see it blinking right here. Okay, so let that happen real quickly. It won't take too long. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my flight controller at the same time now. Uh, the understanding I have from this, which should work, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but we're going to see, is I'm going to, while that's happening, I'm going to remove my S-Bus cable, all right? And I'm going to stay with the same UART. So this is UART 3. Put a little bit more solder on there real quickly. But I'm going to um, go to the TX now, okay? So I'm going to take, and I'm going to take the S-Port wire, which is right here, and that will become my S-Port, F-Port wire. So I can get my telemetry, and I can do my radio signal on here as one on TX3. Now this is an F7 board, so it should be no problems with this, but we're gonna find out. First thing I want to do is I want to get this done, okay? And I need to check the ISRM inside the radio as well, because I want to do the update on that one, and I, I've already done it uh, to do a few little things of testing while we were on break here, but I'm gonna check it again because I want to make sure that I put the right version on uh, to work with this, okay? So give me one second, and while we do that, why don't we go ahead, while that's updating, let's go ahead and bring this over. I want to check something out here. So this is the RXSR. That's fine. Right now what I'm installing is I'm going to install this one. Okay, I also have this one ready to go, right? But uh, I am um, going to uh, install this one first because I want to see something contested. But I'm going to go also to products and I'm going to go to transmitters and right click open this three tabs around to keep going back and forth. Let me do that and then let me just go to the um, Turnus X9 Lite. Let's see, let me say short, X9, X9, my S. I don't believe that's the S. So let me just go X9, my Okay, I'm going to go to my downloads page. I want to check something on the downloads page of what they offer. Okay, so they have the ISRM firmware, and they have 2.1.0, which is the one that we've, we've got on here right now. Okay, so it supports um, Access and ACCST. So, good. Okay, so our card is done. I just had the beep that says our card is done. So let's come over here. All right, so the flash is okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to my menu, click page, and go to my firmware, and go to my TX, and ISRM. And so I've got the 2.1.0, and here it is, right here. 
Okay, now I do want to check something. I'm going to download from the computer the 2.1. I just want to see if I um, maybe deleted a file, if there really is only one file for this. So, yeah, there is only one file. That's the one I've got. All right, fine. So we're going to go ahead, and that's already been updated on here anyway. Um, for 2.1.0, if you want to check that, you just hit hold menu and hit page. Uh, page, 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 page. Go to modules, and you can see that we have 2.1.0 right here. So we've already done the update, so this is good to go. So these two should be able to bind. So I'm going to take this. Um, oh, you didn't see that. Sorry. Let me let me show you again. So yeah, when you're here, you hit menu, and then page, page, page. Keep going until you get to the option here for modules or version, and you can see it's 2.1.0. Okay. So these two should bind without any issue now. So I'm going to disconnect the RXSR. Put it back on the. Um, uh, Fly controller. Now remember, I've already changed my wires here. Let's see if this will work or not. So this is going to be an F port test real quickly, okay? So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to get ready to bind it. And we're going to be using ACCST still. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to hold the bind button here. Then I'm going to turn it on. I should see my solid red and green lights. There they are right there. Okay. I need to sit up. There you go. Don't flip over. All right these wires out of here so I don't short anything. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my menu, hit page, and I'm going to scroll up and get this out of access mode. i put an ACC STD 16 mode, and I'm going to say I want to bind it, and I want to bind it with telemetry on, and it should blink, and there's blinking right there. So we know we're binding right now. So that all that's good. So I'm going to hit exit, exit, exit. I'm going to turn the power off. There we go. I'm going to turn it back on. I should get my RSSI back up here. So there we go. Recovered. Perfect. Okay, now Let's go into beta flight. So let me go ahead and show you the screen. Here we go, and I'm going to plug the USB in. Okay. And we're going to hit connect. And we're going to go to our ports. We're on port 3. That's fine. Let's go to configuration. So we're going to tell it that we want to use the F port, which I've already selected. Um, and uh, so let's go to ports. Okay. Now, I'm running the F port protocol on TX3. And this is where we need to make sure that we're set. Oh, one last thing. Let me just check and see. I've loaded it, but I don't think it matters. I'm going to find out, though. Hold on. Okay, so I didn't have it set right, apparently. So now the blue light's back on on here. I guess it turned off by default. So let me go back to my... It still won't make a difference, I guess. So on my configuration, I have... I'm in... Free sky. I'm in the F port. I'm on the TX3, and I have no signal so far going across. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our CLI. We're going to say serial. Sorry, set serial. RX underscore. Let me just hit enter. So it's set for F port. We're going to see inverted and duplex. So let's do. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's go to, well, tell you what, let's go back to our configuration real quick. There's something I want to check first. Let me click connect here when it comes back. Connect. And then I want to go to my configuration tab. I want to make sure that my telemetry is on. That's the first thing I want to do. There we go. Okay, now let's click save and reboot. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our menu button here and hold our page button down. Sorry, let's do it. Hold our page button down here. Menu, page, 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 page. I get to telemetry. I want to tell it to start. Uh, let me tell it to stop. I want to discover new sensors, okay? So I'm getting my RSSI signal and uh, the battery from here, but what I need to do is I need to see if we're going to be able to get our, our ports are set, configuration is set, F port and telemetry, okay? So now we're going to see if there's a problem with our setting here. So let's do serial. Set serial rx underscore tab duplex. It's not um, refilling for me, and my keys aren't really working properly, so let me just go copy just in case. So let me see where it's at first. So the value is off, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that and put on. Hit enter and see if my telemetry improves on my radio here first. Okay, 
case, I'm going to stop discovery. I'm going to start. I'm still not getting anything on that. I'm click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. I'm going to go my set serial underscore sorry serial underscore inverted. I'm going to highlight that. See where it's at. It says off. So I'm going to paste it equals on. Click save. Let's see if I can get any reaction from my board. There we go. So now look. All my telemetry just populated. Boom. Right there. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm getting all my telemetry. Now let's go back and connect. Let's see what's happening. And there's our receiver. And it's working perfect. So in this case, right? In this case, to get the F port to work, we needed to change the, uh, the inverted to say on. Let me show you what we have. So let's just go back to our CLI now. Okay. All right. So CLI, right? Now let's check this out. Now we're going to go um, set serial RX. Hit enter. So the one thing we did is we turned half duplex on and we turned inverted on. So those are the two changes we needed to make on this one. So now we've got, through all of this, we've got our S bus, or we've got our F port functioning as our telemetry and our signal to the radio. Perfect. This is with the ACCST 2.1, okay? And what I don't know is, and I'm going to hold this down and I'm going to see what happens. If I hold this button down, which would have been normally the switch between CPPM and S bus, I'm going to see what happens when I do that. Okay, so let me hold it down. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. Hold on a sec. Let me hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Now it should blink it. Ah, maybe I didn't hold it. Oh, god darn it. Here. There. Now I'm holding it. So what should happen when I let it go is it should blink and the blue light should go off. Okay? And here we go. There it goes. It's blinking. We should lose telemetry. Telemetry lost. We did. It should telemetry come back. Recovered. It did. So now let's go back and go to our uh, disconnect. Okay. And let's connect again. Wait for it to boot up and we'll connect again. And we're going to see if we still maintain our connection. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's go to receiver. Okay, so with this, we've now lost our receiver. Okay, we're still getting our telemetry, it seems, but we've lost our ability to control the unit at all. Okay, so what we have to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to come back and make sure now these wires touch and make sure that that blue light is on. So we're going to hold the button down. Two, three, four, five. Let go. It's going to switch back. There we go. We should be back here now. And now we have our radio back. So first thing to note is that even though we're using the S port to use F port, the issue with the blue light being S bus or CPVM still has an effect here. Okay, so keep that in mind, all right? Now, so we've tested now that 1.1.3 works. 2.1.0 works in ACCST. Now let's take it to uh, access. 2.1.0 and let's see if we have the same issue. So I'm gonna end this video here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the video here right now. And so like I said, so let's recap. Video one, we used ACCST 16 on 1.1.3, right? ISRM 1.1.3. Now, video two, we used ACCST version 2.1.0 on the radio and on uh, the uh, uh, receiver. And we tested the F port, it worked perfect. We just had to set duplex and invert it to on. Okay, have duplex invert to on, fine. Now let's go, we're going to leave the flight controller like it is, and we're going to update to 2.1.0 on the receiver in the next video, but using access this time, and let's see what happens, okay? So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Peace!